हेलो गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज रिजल्टेड सो गाइज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन आई वुड बी टेकिंग ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर गेट एंड द हेडिंग ऑफ दिस यू मस्ट हैव सीन वन क्वेश्चन मेरी कॉन्सेप्ट सो गाइज वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वट एवर दे हैव फ्रेम्ड आई विल टेल यू देर आर वेरियस वेज टू डू दैट क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू मेरी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल ओके सो वन बाय वन वी विल सी so you can see the homogeneous state of stress for a metal part undergoing the plastic deformation this is given as stress tensor where the stress component values are in mpa use more by sis theory and you have to find out the estimated shear yield stress so my dear this question is a perfect combination of many things like first of all you should know how this stress tensor is represented so i feel you are aware whenever we are going to write the stress tensor we write here row number x row number y row number z we write here column number x column number y and column number z then you know when row number and column number are same we write as normal stress sigma xx when they are different we write as shear stress tau xy then we have tau xz then we have tau yx then we have sigma yy then we have tau yz then we have tau zx then we have tau zy then we have sigma zz this is a three cross three matrix my dear so if you see this matrix my dear you should be aware of that by looking at this matrix you can get the various values of sigma xx sigma yy so dear whenever we are starting this question they are asking you what is the shear yield strength so my dear we know that when we are talking about von mises theory when we are talking about von mises theory this is the part of theory of failure it says even even if you are talking about it says that formula is sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 is equals to syt square upon n square so my dear this is the one concept which will be utilized second concept is you should know how to write this matrix so dear in this matrix we don't have the principal stresses so we have to first find out the principal stresses okay and even if we get principal stresses we will be getting the yield strength in tension then we also should be knowing the relation between syt and sys so shear strength is in yield yield shear strength is going to be syt divided by root 3 or you can directly write point 577 of syt so my dear one concept which will be utilized here is the relation between syt and sys by von mises criteria second is we are going to have this as the von mises theory for which we have to find out the principal stresses from this matrix now my dear whenever we are getting this type of matrix you may be saying sir we already know how to find out the principal stresses but dear when we talk about the principal stresses generally every student would be aware of this formula that sigma 1 comma 2 can be written as sigma 1 comma 2 can be written as sigma xx plus sigma yy by 2 plus minus sigma xx minus sigma yy by 2 ka whole square plus tau xy ka whole square so everybody would be aware of this formula but here the problem is this formula we are using when we are given the stress tensor in 2d when we are given stress tensor in 2d like this is sigma xx this is sigma yy we have tau xy tau yx only this much is given then my dear very easily we can apply or we are getting 2 by 2 matrix which is sigma xx tau xy and tau yx and sigma yy if we have this so for this much we can directly apply the formula and get sigma 1 and sigma 2 but the problem is the question is given in 3d and we require three principal stresses sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 so guys i would like to tell you here we are enough lucky because the question is given in such a way that for third direction all the shear stresses are given zero so when in third dimension all shear stresses are zero luckily they are saying that this stress sigma zz is becoming the principal stress because the plane for which shear stresses are zero we call it as principal plane so here luckily this will become sigma 3 and we can consider this matrix to find out sigma 1 and sigma 2 very easily so if this question is there then also it is a wonderful question because you have seen 3 to 4 concept utilized in this question although in the next 5 minutes i will tell you other 2 to 3 things which are utilized in this question so guys first if you are going to calculate like that 
you just put the values we will be having sigma 1 comma 2 is equals to what you can see sigma x x sigma y value 10 5 5 20 so you can have 10 plus 20 by 2 divided by plus minus square root of 10 minus 20 by 2 ka square plus 5 ka square so when you will be solving this my dear you will be getting the principal stress value i have already calculated it for you these values are coming out to be what they will be coming 22.07 MPA one value and second value will be coming out to be 7.929 MPA. So these are the two values which will be coming. Sigma 3 you are already aware of that is 10 MPA. 10 or minus 10 let me check. It is minus 10. Okay. So when you get these three values, you just need to put the formula sigma 1 square sigma 2 square sigma 3 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 minus sigma 2 sigma 3 minus sigma 1 sigma 3 is equals to s y t square upon n square okay the same which i have written okay this whatever i have written is for 2d but here as three dimensional stress tensor is given we need to apply the three dimensional formula so that is why we are going to have all sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3. Because this is the problem for 3 dimension. So when my dear you will be putting the value of sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3, you would be getting the value of SYT. Because they are saying the material is undergoing plastic deformation. It means they are going beyond elastic limit, failure is happening. So factor of safety will be considered as 1. And you will be getting the value of SYT from here as 27.833. Then I have given you the relation that SYS is 0.577 into SYT. And from that you will be getting the answer to be 16.07 MPA. So my dear from that you can say the answer to this question is B. Yes that is correct. But dear, if you see this question, this question is not very easy uh, to solve if someone is not going to know the concept. Like first problem will be here, whether you know how to write this. Second problem, whether you know von Mises theory. Third problem, whether you know about SYS and SYT. Okay, fourth problem, you can identify this or not. So my dear, this question was, I will say, still easy. Luckily, we were having the shear stresses zero. Just imagine if shear stresses were not zero. Then my dear, when we are talking about that shear stresses are not zero, then my dear, we are having one more formula. We are having one more formula like where if we don't want to calculate the principal stresses for von Mises stresses, for von Mises theory, we can also use the formula where we can directly write it to be sigma xx minus sigma yy ka square plus sigma yy minus sigma zz ka square plus sigma xx minus sigma zz ka square plus 6 tau xy square tau yz square tau zx square is equals to syt square upon n square. If you will go for this formula, then you can put the y value of xx, yy, zz, everything like that without calculating the principal stresses and you can find out the value of syt. Once again, you will be getting the same value as 27.833. Then you are aware that sys is 0.577 times of syt and you will be getting 16.07 MPA. Yes, that's correct. But dear, just imagine if they are not asking these kind of things like go for Tresca theory and all. They are just asking find out the principal stresses. Then the real problem arises. Because for principal stresses, we know this formula and to find out sigma 1, sigma 2, we are using x, x, y, y, tau, x, y and all. But we don't know uh, the direct formula to calculate the principal stresses. If we are aware of x, x, y, y, z, z, tau, x, y, tau, y, x, tau, z, x. So guys, for that, I always told you that whenever going for principal stresses, there are three ways to calculate. One is the formula I have given you. Second is the Mohar circle. Third way is to go for some wonderful thing that is said to be eigenvalue. 
so my dear when you will be going for the eigen value concept you are aware that if we are having this matrix given to us that is uh 10 5 5 20 0 0 0 minus 10 this is given to us so dear here we have applied ki these are zero so we calculated just forget if these things are not zero then why how we would be doing this then my dear we would be going for t minus lambda i that is the way to calculate the eigen values you would be going for 10 minus lambda 5 0 20 minus lambda minus 10 minus lambda and my dear when you want to calculate the three eigen values you would be going for the mode so you would be going for the determinant that is 10 minus lambda 5 0 5 20 minus lambda 0 0 0 minus 10 minus lambda and you will be equating it to 0 and that will give you a cubic equation you will write 10 minus lambda 20 minus lambda minus 10 minus lambda this is minus 0 okay then we are going to have this like that then we are going to have minus 5 5 into minus 10 minus lambda it is equals to 0 this will give you the three values of lambda which will be coming out to be 22.07 minus 10 and third one is 7.929 so guys then this will be the way to solve and these you can use as principal stresses so here in this one question i have given you many concepts what are what are the various concepts because i told you that these eigen values eigen values of this Cauchy stress tensor which we write it sigma xx tau xy tau xz tau yx sigma yy tau z tau zx tau zy sigma zz so my dear if you are going to calculate the eigen values of these matrix you will be getting the principal stresses sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 this is the most beautiful concept we have learned from this question okay that's why the heading was one question very concept so you understood one like the way to calculate the principal stresses is the eigen value of this Cauchy stress tensor this stress tensor is given the name of that is Cauchy stress tensor so my dear Cauchy's stress tensor is it clear so second concept you get to know that first is eigen values are principal stresses second is what you have learnt is what is the relation between that is the 2d relation for one biases and 3d relation what is the relation between sys and syt and how to find out the principal stresses as well as to find out yield strength in shear if these kind of metrics are given so guys here we have utilized a large number of concepts and i feel you learned a lot from this question if this type of question comes again in gate i feel everybody would be very easily able to do this and if you see the interview special sessions of mine there i have explained this in a very nice way i started discussing about this eigen value method seven eight years ago on youtube and you can see uh, after that this was introduced in a lot of things like uh, it was asked in interviews from many students also and because i was uh, i have also faced that question in interview uh, so guys i feel you guys will get a lot of benefit from that so goodbye stay tuned for this uh, wonderful session and you will see more such videos with us at this platform download the resultant app there you will get a lot of free study material resultant mechanical app resultant civil app okay based on your branch goodbye stay tuned